Bonjour là, welcome. Les Mitchifs, ça sent bien content de vous voir. Par Moulin, she tells me you come from Minnesota. She? Et the priest, she tells me. You mean he tells you. Et that's what I say. Malvina, don't correct people like that. But Samuel. Mrs. Van, um, I believe, my name is Samuel Rock. I've just moved here with my family from Lambert, Minnesota. We took a homestead north of Bellevue Church. Hey, le gouvernement, ça l'a offert des terres, free land to any white man. But us midships, we have to fight for our river lots here at Batoche. My husband, Solomon, he believes in that John A. McDonald, but no more. Solomon, don't fight in that bataille here at Batoche. We go to the other store at Green Lake, and I think he regrets not fighting. We lose too much. Now, we close our store here at Batoche and just keep the one at Duck Lake. With the railroad not coming to Batoche, why stay here? We're glad to be coming to a place where French is spoken as often as, as it was in Lambert. Father Mir at Bellevue was telling us that French is prevalent in the entire region. Duck Lake, Batoche, Saint-Laurent, Saint-Louis, Doremy, and Bellevue. Although the quality of French leaves a lot to be desired. What Malvina means is that you hear so many different accents from France, Belgium, Quebec. And us midships who can't speak the language, right? No, no, but you see. Don't worry, Monsieur Rock. Us midships, we hear it all the time. From the priests, from the nuns at Saint Louis and Duck Lake, even from our friends here in Bellevue. We talk like our fathers talked and our grandpas talked, not like our mothers and grandmas, because they talked Indian. And you want to know something, Monsieur Rock? The Garou brothers, they don't mind the way we talk when they first come to Batash 20 years ago. They don't mind because we take them in, make them our brothers. Now that Azari, he thinks he's a big shot in Bellevue, tells people what to do. You mitchifs near the church, you should move. Go elsewhere and leave the land for my friends coming in from Quebec, from Lambert, Minnesota. We're pretty far from the church. At least five miles north. Before that bataille here at Batoche, les Mitchif was important people. We own many stores here at Batoche, but also at Capel, Wood Mountain, Cypress Hills. We were involved in moving things here and there in the northwest with our Red River carts. Et we were important people. So those French people like Louis Riquidel, Ferdinand Ladre, Paul Schley, Philippe Carnot, Luigi Garot, Philippe Chamberlain, Octave Régnier, even that Jean-Louis Légaré in Wood Mountain, they were proud to be associated with us midshifts. Many even married some midshift girls like Luigi Garot and Octave Régnier. But after we lost the bataille, after those damned Canadians hanged Louis Riel, many French Canadians turned their backs on us midshifts. Life hasn't been easy for us either in Minnesota. Just take that Philippe Chamberlain for one. Today she denies being in a foxhole with some of our Mitchiff's fighters. She says that... He says... She says that Louis made him a prisoner, forced him to steal food for the council table. But we know better. We know that after she was made prisoner by that General Middleton, she worked in his kitchen. She steal a cow from Emmanuel Champagne for those soldiers. Today, that Philippe Chamberlain is always telling us midshifts that we talk the French bad. She even tells that to his nephew, Joseph, who's midshift just like me. That's Napoleon's boy. Napoleon, who married a Nolin girl. Not Charles Nolin's girl. That Charles Nolin. He was a bad one here. Wanted to be king instead of Louis. Then he wanted to be a politician in Regina. Tried to bribe the people here at Batache. Just a crook, that Charles Nolin. Just like that Lieutenant Governor Dudney was during the bataille. Most politicians are. Crooks. That Dudney, he sells rotten pork to the Indians. Then he sells the good pork to his friends and keeps the money. Well, I'm not learned in Canadian politics, but I was surprised to hear that Malvina here isn't allowed to teach in Saskatchewan school because she's a married woman. I'm a well-qualified teacher, school teacher. I got my diploma in Minnesota two years after I married Samuel at age 15. Taught school in Lambert when I wasn't pregnant with another child. And because she, she, she won't let her teach here in Saskatchewan, Father Mir has had to hire an English woman to teach at Bellevue School. Send your children to school here at Batoche. Mademoiselle Dorval is a good teacher. She won't tell the children that they don't talk the French right, but she's a good teacher. She even boards children at the rectory like it was a convent or something. 
Um, Samuel, maybe we should consider sending Alba and Eugenie to school here at Batoche. They could stay with Mademoiselle Dorval. Five miles is a long way to go every day to school. I thought we had decided that Alba was too old for school. She's 12 years old now. But Eugenie is only 10, and if we had her staying at the rectory with Mademoiselle Dorval, the company of her sister would be... Just, just, just give Mrs. Van your list, and we'll go to the rectory right away and ask. Uh, Mrs. Van, we'll be back for the supplies soon. Give my regards to Mademoiselle Dorval and Père Moulin. Things will be ready for you when you come back. 